Hello everyone, Gator Mom here. I hope you guys are having a fantastic week. I have a fun little jujube video for you guys today. This is a highly requested video that I've gotten asked to do time and time again, and I am finally getting around to doing it for you guys. This is highlighting the small set piece. So today I'm going to be showing you a handful of ways that you can use your small set piece. I believe I have about 10 or 12 small set pieces here. So I have filled each of them up to show you different ideas that I've gathered from watching other YouTube videos and following Pink Lady chat boards and places like that. So I have kind of gathered all of the ideas that I've gotten from a few different sources. So I hope you guys find this review helpful. If you are shopping Jujubee, I would appreciate it if you used my affiliate link that I will leave in the description box below. And let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and start off with my favorite way to use the small set piece and probably my most used way as far as the small set piece goes. I have been using this gorgeous Blooming Romance print ever since it was released here a couple weeks back. I absolutely love it, but I have been using it as a wallet. I like to attach the small straps onto the small set pieces when I do use them as a wallet just because it makes a really easy grab and go wristlet if I'm just going to run in quick to like the grocery store or places like that. But inside here I have two pieces that work really really well inside this piece. I have a Kate Spade card holder. I'm going to show you a top view there before I take them out. I also kind of side note here, I love how the small set pieces go all the way down here on the side so that you could open it up really, really, really big and see what's inside. But I have a small um, Kate Spade card holder and I have a couple different colors in these because I like to mix and match them inside my small set pieces. But this just works really, really perfectly in there. They also sell some of these at Target. I've seen different prints and styles and things like that. But this is just a regular card holder that I have in there. And then I have a NCO Lampy coin purse. The regular Jujubee coin purses will, of course, fit perfectly in here, which you'll see in some of the other small set pieces that I pull out here, but I just really like this one. It's kind of like a leathery, buttery feeling. I keep whatever cash I happen to have right here on this outside little pocket. I have like a whole dollar right now. I hardly ever have cash. And then on this back side, you have a small spot for coins, so I like to keep some quarters in there because you never know when you're going to need them. And then inside the top here, I actually just keep all of our insurance cards. So they're all right here. I can just grab this out and I know exactly where they are whenever I need them. So that is inside this Blooming Romance um, one as a wallet. The next one I'm going to show you guys is the Peek a Bow print and I've decided to choose this one next because it's very similar to the wallet but I thought I would highlight it because it's a really popular idea. But inside here I actually just have coupons and gift cards. So a lot of you that have that favorite wallet that you use all the time, no matter what, you don't wanna go into anything smaller, but don't like to have all of your coupons and gift cards in that same place, this is a good alternative for you. So back here I have a coin purse in the Duchess print and look how cute that matches. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love it. But inside this coin purse, I just put in all of our gift cards that we happen to have at the moment. I put them separate from the inside of the small set piece, mainly because it gets really jumbled up in here. It looks nice and organized at the moment because I just packed it up for this video. But when I use the small set piece for this purpose, all of these coupons that I have and little receipts that have like balances of what's on each one and things like that get really jumbled in here, which is fine because the small set piece opens up nice and big and you can see everything. But I like to be able to grab for my gift cards really quickly when I'm out. So it just works really well to put them inside a coin purse in here. So that is that one. The next one I'm going to show you is the Duchess small set piece and I actually don't even know what's in this one. <laughs> I packed all these up. Oh, this one here I like to use for my posh goodies. I actually tend to use this particular print when I'm using it for this purpose because it's like black and white polka dots and it's poshy and all that fun stuff. So those of you that have been following my videos know that I sell Perfectly Posh. I've been selling it for a little over a year and it's one of my many addictions. But I thought I would highlight using the small set piece as a sample container because I know a lot of you that are in direct sales like to carry samples with you, whether it's Unique or Jamberry or Mary Kay or those type things. I just think that having them in one central spot that you can pull out to hand out easily just makes it a little more streamlined, I guess, if you will. So in here, I just have 
two little baggies of um, pre-made sample packets that I kind of always have in my bags. This just has my business card on the back. And then I have a little lip balm and a sample chunk bar and a couple of body butters in there. So I have two pre-made sample packets all ready to go in there if I wanna hand those out. And then I just have a couple of miscellaneous samples put in here. These are different ones that aren't in those packets. So depending on who I'm talking to and what I wanna hand out, I just have a couple more of those in there. And then I have more business cards in the back and then I have a couple of opportunity flyers. These just talk about the business and things like that. So I have all of those inside this particular small set piece. The next piece I have here is in the Royal MV print. And inside here, I just have all of my two-year-old restaurant needs. I do this a lot if I'm running out with a small bag like a Bee Light or a Mini Bee. He doesn't require much when we go out to eat, but this is just kind of a little compact place to go for all of these type of goodies. But inside here, I just have his little travel fork and spoon. This was in a pack that I got, believe it or not, I want to say it was Old Navy or one of these random places, but it just has a stick here and then you can attach your fork and spoon on the end of it, depending on which one you want to use. And there's, there was actually like chopsticks in there and all this other fun stuff. So we use this a lot going out because you can break it down and fold it up inside the small set piece. And then I also have tucked down here a pack of yogurt raisins. My son is obsessed with yogurt raisins. It's so funny because if he's like starving and the appetizers aren't there or whatever it is that we're eating, if the food's just not there, I can grab out a little packet of yogurt raisins and keep him busy for a couple minutes. So that's kind of a little trick in there. And then I have some of these disposable placemats, which we still do use a lot. And then I have tucked in here the Royal Envy Be Neat. This is a well-loved neat in our house. I've had this one since he was born. Royal Envy was one of my first favorite Jujube prints. So I've had this one for a while, but it's tucked inside this little pouch. And then I just stick it inside the small set piece. So that's kind of a little mini restaurant needs type kit. Then the next one I have is in the super adorable Siamo print. This is a collaboration that Tokidoki and Jujube did. It's probably my favorite, favorite Tokidoki. I, I think I say that in all my videos. I absolutely love this print. It's, it's just, it's so pretty. I love it. But so inside here, I actually have an activity for my kids that we like to use all the time. And I stuck it inside this little bag that they actually come in now, just so I could really show you the bag, but we never keep them inside the bag, inside the bag, because that's kind of ridiculous. But I like to keep them in the small set pieces, which I'll show you why in just a second. But these are the Rory's Story Cubes. You guys have seen these in my videos. A lot of people have messaged me about these. We are addicted to these in my house. We really, really like them. I first saw them at Cracker Barrel, and now they actually sell them at Target in these cute little bags as opposed to the boxes that they used to come in. But nine cubes come in a box, and there's, or in a bag, I guess I could, should say now, but they are different like categories, and each one is different. So in a nutshell, you basically have nine different cubes, and you pull your cubes out, and you roll them on the, the table or whatever place that you're playing with, and then you can tell a story around the cubes that you get. So like one day we went up in a hot air balloon, but we were running out of time because it was, oops, because it was like starting to rain, and then, you know, so on and so forth. So you just kind of tell a story. I'm actually the worst at it. My kids are so funny with it. My oldest is absolutely hysterical. He's seven. But anyways, so they all come inside this little bag and it's just a fun little game. The reason I like to use a small set piece to store them, if I can see through the camera here, is the small set piece opens up so nice and wide. Look at that. You can just see all of the cubes so much easier than if you were to have them inside this little kind of bag that it comes in. So they can just pull out here and we can just kind of shake them inside the small set piece and open it like this and then kind of start playing the game. So it avoids the rolling on the ground and that loud noise that you guys just heard. So we love these. It's a really, really fun game in my house and I have them with me always if I know we're going to be out and I'm going to be needing some fun little activities. The next piece I have here is in the Tokidoki Hello Kitty Jujube Dream World print. This was another super cute collaboration that they did. But inside this piece, I actually have a very mini version of an art kit. 
I like using medium set pieces or large set pieces or other type of pieces that I have for art kits because my kids love art. They like to do it when we're out and having a seven-year-old, a five-year-old, and a two-year-old, a small set piece just doesn't work really well for everything that I need. But if I'm going to be out with just my two-year-old, which happens a lot during the week when the older two are at school, and I want kind of some little activities for him to do, I, <laughs> my kids are being so loud in the background. I like to put them inside this small set piece. So I just have stuff for him in here. I have a little kind of travel crayon thing um, that he likes to play with. And then I have it down in here, a bunch of these little um, color pencils, which work really, really well because they're just a great size. This came in like a travel art kit that we have, but I've seen like the Bic pens out at different places. So you can definitely find, obviously crayons would fit perfectly in there. And what's awesome is you can machine wash these pieces. So if you get any crayon marks or anything like that in there, they will come right off. But I also just have in here amongst all those things are just plain white paper. Being that he is a two year old, he's not really coloring yet. He's kind of more scribbling. So I just took regular plain white paper. I cut it in half and then I folded it in quarters. So it's in there for him to just kind of draw on and play with. My older two actually prefer to use just plain white paper anyways, but like I said, this is just packed up for my two year old. And then also in here, I have of course stickers, which is the best go-to when my son is needing entertainment. These smiley face stickers are the absolute best because they're really good for his like small little fingers and he can just stick them on that plain white paper. This is about half the size of the actual sheet that they come in, so I just cut it in half so it fits perfectly inside this particular small set piece. Instead of folding it so like the crease where the stickers are at kind of like, you know, bunches up or whatever. I just cut it in half so we can use all the stickers that are on the sheet. So that's kind of a little mini art kit, if you will, which works out really, really well. This is the Perky Toki print, which is super, super sweet. This is probably one of my daughter's favorite prints, but inside this one, I actually pulled out from the archives of my closet a little item that we used like crazy in our house when my two youngest were young. My daughter especially was addicted to these Wubba Nubs. I mean, I say addicted like she called them her babies and whenever she was past the pacifier stage, we actually cut the pacifier off of these and she had like, oh, I don't know, it was like five, six, seven maybe at one time and she carried them in her little bags, but Anyways, I pulled this one out from my son's kind of keepsake stuff because I wanted to show how it will fit inside of a small set piece. You can fit these Webinubs inside a passy pod, but it is a tight fit and you have to roll it up really, really, really small and nothing else fits in there. But I did definitely used to pack these inside passy pods to have them really accessible there, kind of on the outside of my bags. But I liked to have extras with me and I think that the small set piece is a really good kind of alternative for that because you don't have to scrunch it up really small. You just kind of have to fold the binky part down and then it fits really, really nicely in salt inside this small set piece. And then also in there, I stuck in a little dapple pacifier wipe to wipe off the pacifier and keep it all clean. So that's kind of a little alternative. You can also use these for nursing type needs. If you have, um, like a nursing necklace or even some of the smaller nursing covers or burp cloths. That's another really good alternative to use the small set piece for. Or if you want to use it for teething needs, if you can like put in here a um, couple of those teething tablets or whatever you use to soothe your baby as far as teething, that would be another really good way to use the small set piece for um, moms out there that have kids that are more into like the baby age. So that is inside the Perky Toki one. The next one I have here is another new one that I got kind of recent. This is the cute Lucky Stars print. Jujube just released this one. It was kind of an exclusive. They only had a certain number of these, but I um, was really lucky enough to have been able to snatch up one of these sets. I think that the Lucky Stars is really, really cute on the small set piece. But inside here, I actually just have, getting kind of caught there at the top, I have a bunch of candy. Yes, I keep candy inside my bags all the time, either whether it be like a coin purse or if I have a couple treats kind of stashed in a zipper pocket or inside a small set piece, of course. But I like to carry dum-dums with me a lot, but I actually got a big bag of these lollipops around Valentine's Day, so we've been kind of going through these. So I have those in here and I also have 
a bunch of like Hershey Kisses. And what this little pack is for is really if my children are being good or if they're being bad, I guess I should say. I reach for the candy stash on multiple different types of occasions if I need a distraction or whatever the case may be. Or let's just be honest, those of you that have candy stashes in your bags, how often do you open it up for a Hershey Kiss for yourself? So this is like little treat bag. But also down here at the bottom, which I wanted to show you guys, those of you out there that their kids are big Pez lovers like mine, an actual Pez will fit perfectly down at the bottom of that small set piece, which is so fun because when I have one for my daughter and for my son in there, they both fit in there perfectly fine. My son's actually just recently broke, so that's why his isn't in here. But my daughter has a cute little Olaf one in here. So whenever she's being extra good, I can just kind of pull out this Pez and she can get her candies in there. And then of course there's extra room to put extra Pez down in there too. So I thought that was a neat little trick. I love how they fit perfectly. And Olaf here looks to be like one of the bigger ones out there as far as like the size of his head compared to the actual holder. So I think most of the Pez out there in the market will fit really, really well inside that small set piece with a ton of room to spare. The next one I have here is in the Countess print. This is a legacy print, which is super classic. I'm loving it here in the small set piece. Inside here, I actually just have a bunch of medical type stuff. This is another really popular way that I know a lot of mamas like to use these small set pieces for because they can just pack in their kind of little mini med stuff on the go. But in here, I actually just have a pair of travel scissors, which we use a ton. I cannot tell you how many times I pull out these travel scissors. They're just perfect, but I have those in there. Then I have a pair of baby kind of um, nail clippers, which we use a lot. I never leave the house without my Posh Healer stick. A lot of you have been asking me about this and why I like it so much. And basically in a really quick nutshell, not to take a lot of time, it's just a shea butter stick that has some healing essential oils in it. It actually smells like a creamsicle. It smells really, really good, but I use it a lot for like diaper rash, for really, really dry skin. If my kids like fall on the ground and they cut their knee or something and it's just like really rough skin patch and it looks like the skin's gonna break but it hasn't quite broken yet, I'll kind of rub this on here. It's like an all-purpose skin healer. People use them as chapsticks if in the winter time or even in the summertime when your lips are like peeling like crazy and you just need like a, a healer really for them. So it's an all-purpose skin stick. Great for burns. So it, I just use it for a bunch of stuff. So I always have it in my med kit. Lately, I've been carrying around this cold relief stick, which is really awesome because it's kind of like a natural VIX, if you will. It has um, essential oils that are more for like cold time. So there's things like peppermint, I don't know if I can make the camera focus there, but there's like menthol and peppermint, eucalyptus, grapefruit, rosemary, things of that nature. So it just smells kind of like a Vicks VapoRub, but not as powerful. So I like to rub it on the kids if they kind of have like runny noses or they're like stopped up. It's just kind of like a cold relief stick, which is exactly what it says. So I've been carrying that around lately. This isn't always a staple in my med kits, but in the season that we are right now, I've been having it for the past couple of weeks. Also inside here, another little trick or something that I've been carrying. I don't know if you guys carry these in your med kits, but I have here a little baggie. This actually comes with our travel potty. It's a regular store type plastic bag, but it actually has a little bit of a cushion here at the bottom, like an absorbent, if you will. And I actually have this for kind of times that you're out in public and your kid looks at you and they're like, mommy, I'm going to be sick or mommy, I have this completely gross thing that I picked up off the floor and I need you to put it somewhere. So this is like a go-to for those type of things. You can also use these for like poopy diapers and things like this. Um, my oldest son actually gets car sick really bad and I started keeping one of these baggies inside my med kits because we, I have a stash of these inside my van at all times, but if we were to drive my husband's car, I don't have that one stocked quite as you know, full for kids stuff because it's his car. So I had one of these inside my small set piece just in case he was, you know, randomly sick in the car from driving. So that's kind of one of my little tips and tricks that I like to keep in med kits. Then I also have inside this super cute Hello Kitty TikTok print, which looks again, really cute with this one. Um, I have band-aids and things like that in here. I just have 
a couple, like I said, of Band-Aids, and then I have a few of these like antiseptic type wipes or like a sting relief pad, um, things like that. So it's just kind of like more first aid type thing. So this works really well if you're carrying, again, any type of small bag that you don't want to carry like a big old bed kit with. This just kind of does the trick really. This one is in the Dancing Dahlias print, which is another really pretty one. Inside here, I have it packed up with all of my on-the-go mommy type things that I pack in all of my bags no matter what I'm doing. This is just kind of like all of my necessities that I need when I'm out and about. So I know this is another really popular way that people like to use their small set pieces. So inside here, I just have one of my posh sticks. This is the Wakey Wakey stick that I like to use for my headaches. I get migraines a lot. This is just really nice. It kind of soothes all those uncomfortable side effects that I get like nauseous and things of that nature. It doesn't like heal my migraine instantly. It just makes it a little bit less um, uncomfortable, if you will. So I like to have that with me a lot of times. And then I just have a little um, chapstick in here. Then I also have a travel size tampon, which fits perfectly inside the small set piece. I also keep in here my pill case. This is a great little compact case that I've had for like ever. I love that. I also have my Posh Lip Scrub. This is super awesome because I can rub it on my lips and it's like a sugar scrub, so you just kind of lick off whatever is left over on your lips so you don't have to actually use like water to scrub your lips. So I've been liking this one a lot. This is a new pineapple coconut one. That's super yummy. Then I just keep in here a little peppermint tea bag. This is something I've been keeping recently because I've been battling like a sore throat and things like that. So if I'm out and about and my throat is just super scratchy, I'll just get some hot water and throw in a peppermint tea bag. Then I have a small little Jamberry nail file. This is just a cute little compact size that I like to throw in my pieces. And I have a lip gloss here and a um, hair tie. So those are all of my quick little kind of mommy type essentials when I'm on the go. The next piece I'm gonna show you guys is in the Legacy Empress print. And inside this particular small set piece, I have packed up all of my straps. This might sound like a really weird thing to pack inside of a small set piece, but there's so many times that I pack my bags with these sets or with quicks or things like that, and I'll actually stuff the straps that come with this set inside like a small corner of my bag or a zipper pocket, or I'll even put the long strap at the very bottom of the large set piece, like if I'm using it as a diapering quick, and it will just get jumbled up. It, it just gets kind of crazy. So I like to sometimes shove them inside a small set piece because I don't have to be super neat with them. I can literally just shove the straps in there and then that way I have them should I want to wear a quick crossbody or if I want to pull out a small set piece and put a couple of toys in it for the kids and just carry it as a wristlet. So those of you that aren't familiar with the sets, they come with the large or the long strap and the small strap and then you get three different pieces. So this small set is just a small piece of the set. Um, collection, if you will. So I like to throw my straps in there. And then also with them, I like to put whatever stroller clips I happen to have. If I'm carrying a bag that I'm going to be needing to attach to a stroller, like a BFF or a BRB or whatever it is that I'm carrying um, that I want to have stroller clips for. So this is a custom pair that my friend Jamie made in that same Empress print. I really, really like them. They're sleek, they're compact, they work amazingly I absolutely love them they hold all of my bags on really really tight so they're nice and compact and it fits well inside this small set piece the last piece I have here for you guys today is in the first mate print this B set comes with the Commodore collection so the small piece is actually in this super pretty first mate and the large piece but the medium piece in the middle actually has the cute little anchors which is the admiral print but inside this small set piece I just have all of our tech accessories our portable charger earbuds things of that nature so I have a cord here that actually has three different ends the one end attaches to the portable um, charging stick in here and then the other end has the option to plug into our iPad we have like an older style iPad and then our cell phones um, 
will attach like to this one here. So it's really neat how it's all kind of all three options are in one and I don't have to carry a bunch of different cords. It's just really small and compact. So I have that. And then like I said, it attaches down here to our charging stick, which is nothing special. You can get these anywhere. I'm, I think I got this one at Verizon or something, but you can get them at Best Buy or Amazon or Target. It's just a regular portable um, charging stick. So that fits really neatly down there at the bottom horizontally inside the small set piece. And then what I also have in here is another custom piece that my friend Jamie made who made those Empress stroller clips. I will link her Facebook page below for those of you that want to check out her shop. But this is just a cute little mini clip pouch and I have in here my earbuds. I like putting them inside here or even like a coin purse or something because I don't like to have them all jumbled up inside the other stuff and I don't like to take a lot of time to fold them nicely and put a rubber band around them and all that. It's just too much fuss for me. So I have been putting them inside this little mini pouch. It's perfect. It's great for traveling, especially like on an airplane. You can just kind of clip this on your back and you have your earbuds really super accessible. So I've been liking that little trick. I hope you guys found this review helpful of all my different ways that I have been using these small set pieces. I would love to hear any ideas that you have. So put them in the comments below. If there's kind of an out of the box idea that I didn't mention here, I'm always looking for new ideas to use these. So definitely leave them in the comments below and check out my um, affiliate link, which is in the description box for those of you that want to buy some of these B sets. And I appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions or additional comments, leave them below. I will talk to you guys soon. Have a great day.